Hi friends, today I am explaining about how to handle multiple checkboxes in Angular with template driven forms. I am taking student submit form with below functionalities. We will see how to bind the data to the list of checkboxes and how to get the data of selected checkboxes to the model. Using model binding, we will see how to how to develop these functionalities. This is my output. We will see. I'm selecting some courses. Let's click on submit. Now I am entering some other name. Select courses. I click on submit. This is my functionality. Now I am clicking on edit. Based on this ID, we will bind these courses into checkboxes in edit functionality. Right. We will see how to how to develop this code we will see this is my existing code we will remove everything in html side also i removed everything yeah this is my model there is a three variables properties id name and is selected ID is a number, name is a string, is selected property, boolean property. Based on this boolean property, we will bind selected values to the checkboxes. We will get the selected checkboxes by using this property. Now I am taking one variable. This is the course type. Course type. Type array. I implement on method courses. I'm initializing data to this course list collection. I send the values. By default, I am taking false for e selected property because we need to all the unchecked values to the checkboxes. I select and enter multiple values. This is like a primary key in a table. I remove the this lost column comma right i am implementing get courses initialize the data to this course list collection now i call this method in page load of amp component page load means what and the on initialization on on We will call this method everything is completed now we will bind these courses into multiple checkboxes we will go to the system page i'm creating one form tag i'm taking one data apply the css here taking an objective by using structural directive i am iterating those process item of this property i'm taking an objective i'm taking one input type Checkboxer. Right. Now I am taking name dot. I 
Krishna explaining about uh, this name. Whenever you, we will do any two-way binding, this is useful. Without this, we cannot do the two-way binding. Now I am taking another div for uh, display the course name. I am taking label. Item dot name. We'll see the output. This is my output. I applied the class now. Just we'll apply some classes. So I need to apply some classes. We'll see CSS here. These are my CSS column eight. This both for checkboxes. This is for label. Now we will see the output. This is my output. I need to display one heading, course setting. We'll make one row here. I'm taking label and bind courses. I am creating font size here. What is, what is the output? Okay. Now binding is completed. This binding part is completed. We will see how to get data of selected checkboxes. Means If I am selecting, how to get these selected checkboxes? We will see how to. We will go to the code, code side. Now I am, I am implementing on change method. So on change method, I am implementing, I am declaring in HTML side. To the checkbox this is my change event i'm assigning this on change method here see the change event this is the my change event name we will see the output In this on change event method i will show output I click on C sharp. I click on C sharp, but E selected property is false only. Everything is false, but I selected in C sharp. What? Because I didn't apply two way data binding. We need to apply two way data binding. How we will see? I'm taking one. This is my. Ng model. I am taking E selected property here. Now, if any change is occurred, E selected property will be triggered. If it is a select, it will be true, otherwise, it will be false. See the output. We will see the output. Now, we will see the output. See. E sharp is selected. Remaining all are inside. Now I am selecting Angular. We will see next result set. This E sharp is selected. Angular also selected. Yeah. Means the both the functionalities are completed. Next video we will see how to add how to submit button functionality. After submit button, how to implement edit functionality. We will see in next video. Finally, we will debug everything. We will see in the last video. Okay, friends. Thank you.